Hello there vinyl community in YouTube. As you can see I have some audience <laughs> while I'm doing this. A cat on the other side of the roof. Uh, I'm uh, going to do a little quickie here uh, to talk about the work I have done this summer um, for the records. Uh, I had some problem with my CD collection. <laughs> Uh, some of the uh, records were in great shangers, soul, jazz, and so on, uh, while others were in total mitch match. Uh, it was uh, totally chaos uh, in, in non order whatsoever, just put them in some kind of a sh shelf. Uh, I had some shanger order once, but I failed that especially when uh, I have uh, CD racks looking like this. That is not uh, great racks to uh, have if you want to uh, restrain order because you, of course you have to move the records uh, to put it in the right alphabetical order in the Shanger and so on. Uh, and uh, so little hard work that uh, may be forgotten as the time goes but it's the racks I do have and I have to live with it so I thought it was time to do another sorting in genre ordering genre order uh, to totally just uh, rebuild the genre order in the CD collection now you might wonder why do I put them in genre order and not just in just alphabetic order? Well, it's a several reasons. The main reason is that it's too much job. I mean, half of the records were already in genre order. That means that I have to line up over four, five hundred CDs in a row and try to uh, put them in some kind of alphabetic order. Uh, it's too much job taking too much place with the records uh, and uh, it's not possible to do it uh, and uh, then if I have them in an order let's say I get an, a record with Depeche Mode or or, or uh, AHA and I want to put them in to move them from Ö <laughs> Z every record so I can put them in, in A or D I don't want to do that uh, I can manage to do it in the when it comes to the Changer just as much records that I feel it's, uh, I can move uh, and uh, if you look at how my room looks like it's not possible I mean I have uh, record sh uh, CD shelves uh, in the uh, little here and there. Uh, I have to have it because of space. I can't have a wall with CDs from A to uh, It's not possible. Uh, and I don't like the combos. I mean, in the same uh, alphabetic order, I had to put uh, Archer Shaw Orchestra with, with the Deep Purple and. Uh, Alanis Morissette and so on, it is, and uh, Edmundo Ross. It is, uh, we'll be mixing too much Shangers. I'm a Shanger nerd, I guess. <laughs> yes. uh, then the work itself was uh, very hard. I have to think of how to do this. Uh, so. Uh, and the hardest thing was to uh, define an artist to a shanger. Uh, an artist tends sometimes to switch shanger. Uh, 
what do I do with artists that have a career that spans over uh, two decades and I have a compilation I will show that later on uh, and uh, a little hard uh, jazz of course is hard in an alphabetic order uh, because uh, one artist can be a band leader in one session and then the next he's just uh, playing with another band uh, let's say I have Benny Goodman who's a band leader for the most and then I have a, a, a early Benny Goodman where, where uh, another one is the leader Benny Goodman is still on it but uh, do I put it uh, with the other the, the real band leader for that record I, uh, so I didn't put jazz in any kind of alphabetic order it would be too much work with that also but uh, I had to pick out Shanger by Shanger and put him in alphabetic order, try to f count in how um, much place I needed, how much uh, each Shanger is growing, uh, how much I buy with each Shanger and try to find some space and uh, w w place where it's enough space also for new records if that is needed. So it was a hard job, but here is the final result. My synth pop collection winded up in this in this one. Uh, you have here different kinds of the ordinary synth pop band: Ultravox, Depeche Mode, Erasure, uh, OMD. It's a little hard where to put where I'm going to put the new wave. 80s band synth pop or 80s, but but uh, I put the genuine, more genuine synth pop bands here. Here is my soul collection. Uh, it's more or less on the same place as it was before. Uh, it was a pretty good place. Uh, I just uh, I had synth uh, synth pop bands here. So so it, since I have moved them on other place, I had places to put uh, more solar records here but uh, I need another one another of these ones to have uh, next to here uh, because uh, can't have room for any more soul here so I need another one but uh, soul music 80s and 90s uh, 70s soul I have on the 70s shelf because I don't have all that much 70s on CDs most of them are on vinyl Swedish CDs was uh, the hardest one. Uh, it's one of the shangers I have the most of to find space for around 180 Swedish records wasn't all that easy but I managed to find a great place for it uh, with uh, since Swedish records is a shanger in, in CDs uh, format that uh, grows very big I managed to uh, find a lot of space for more so uh, I'm very satisfied with having this place for C Swedish pop rock and dance music you might think that I have a whole lot of 80s CDs but uh, it isn't all that big mostly because uh, I have uh, of course most 80s on vinyl so this shelf with 80s is uh, filled with different kind of uh, uh, compilations from from uh, various artists but uh, also some uh, some uh, ordinary records like here Hooters zigzag uh, ice house great Sutherland and so on uh, but uh, managed to find a great place for 80s CDs this is dance music from 90s and OOS Eurodisco trance techno house, uh, early 90s house that is, uh, also a genre that was huge and hard time to find a place but uh, in this shelf they are having a <laughs> great time. Uh, 70, uh, 70s records, uh, as I said I don't have all that much because the uh, main part of the 70s records are on vinyl so if it also here is uh, some 
um, compilations and, and so on. The CDs I haven't listened to yet. <laughs> As you can see, I have a lot to go through. Uh, and um, normally I I'd, um, use my portable CD player, uh, listen to uh, CDs out when I'm out walking or something like that. And by that it has uh, I have listened more to uh, CDs that I haven't listened to before than I had previous years. So so uh, it's moving forward. Uh, and uh, then when all of these are listened to. Hit them in the shelf in their shanger. These pop rock. Uh, when you see these, you might wonder: Is that is this all '90s I have? Well, '90s dance is in, of course, in uh, their dance shanger, and '90s soul in is in the soul shanger. So this is the pop rock '90s that I have, and of course, there are a lot in in the uh, shelf of records I haven't listened to yet that can be moved here. So it will be growing. And the 90s pop rock is one of the CD genres that uh, is growing the most. Uh, I listen a whole lot to synth pop and, and um, dance music and uh, soul in the 90s, so uh, and those genres have shelves of their own. One of the biggest genres in my CD collection, of course, is jazz. Uh, and uh, they remained in the same place. Uh, I felt like uh, it was so big and it uh, was the only genre that was more or less in a genre order, so why move it? Uh, so the only thing I did was uh, here, usually I had my Eurodance 90s dance music collection, so I moved that one and uh, made it a space for uh, dance music and uh, moved the other one around a bit. So. Uh, and uh, here it will be coming more and uh, I think I have uh, room also for more jazz CDs. My Benny Goodman collection. Here is a genre I have big problems with. Uh, it was uh, compilations by big artists who belongs in both in two decades, you might say. Artists with their hits in uh, both 80s and 90s or 70s or 80s. Where do I put them? In the 70s or 80s? So I did a sh uh, genre of their own with called Collect Compilations Big Artists that uh, had more than one decade of fame. Uh, here is the Madonna. You have George Michael in excess. Uh, Aha, David Bowie, Kylie, Springsteen, Simple Minds, and so on. Uh, Shanghai I had a whole lot more records than I thought I would. <laughs> uh, the records from OOS. Uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, old favorite artists from the 90s and 80s releasing albums in their walls but as you can see some new artists also as well well that was how it was made um, of course I still have to move records but I feel that uh, I have uh, I still I feel like I have motivation to keep them in some kind of order. Take a month, uh, uh, around each every month, every second month, where, where when I have uh, listened to uh, records that I haven't been uh, listened to yet, or buy new records, uh, I take uh, every month, once every month or once every second month, to uh, sort them in alphabetic order in each genre. So hopefully that will last. We'll see. Uh, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed my little walk through the work I have done during my vacation. It didn't take, it took, um, I was supposed to do it some rainy days during my vacation. Rainy days. <laughs> it has been raining often. But uh, I'm very satisfied anyway. So, uh, until next time, uh, I'm going to do a response to a thread going on with the rules that we have when we buy records. And of course, uh, part 2 and 3 from Uppsala, my uh, travelogue. So until next time, 
Have a real nice summer. Take care and so long.